when I'm here and I go to stab somebody, okay, I'm gonna push them all the way to the wall because that's my goal. My goal is aggression in moving forward, okay? And this is just a way that you can train at home. Just turn up the intensity a little bit. Best self-defense, get away. If they stab you before you can get away, perfect. Grab it, control it, get away, turn your sprint on, try and get some help. We're trying to buy time for our safety. All right, we're talking about knife defense. Probably the most controversial subject ever, okay? At the end of the day, I'm a civilian, okay? That doesn't mean I need to control them. That doesn't mean I need to get to the ground. It means I need to get away. Most of the time, you probably won't know a knife is coming. So if Tyson is here today, right? See right away, he's getting in that six foot distance, no. Right? And that's what I'd be doing in real life. Like, hey man, I don't know you, why are you getting close, right? And all of a sudden he pulls out a knife. If he's reached to his pocket, I'm gone, right? I'm not trying to stay there by any means, right? I don't want to engage into this. I don't want to pull out my knife and get into a knife fight. I don't want any of this, right? And that's my goal. So most of the time if an attacker is coming up, they're just shanking you and prison shaking you before you even know what's taking place, okay? So this is the controversial part. I'm gonna start with the knife on me, okay? And the reason why I do that is that may happen. And I wanna get my body used to something is inside of me or something is trying to get inside of me and I don't want it there. So right away, my hand is going to grab and I'm going to take it away. But if I do that single hand versus somebody that's bigger and stronger, that may not work so well. So I'm gonna be jamming and driving in as much as I can, using my body. Ideally, my shoulder could be up to try and protect me against that hand, but most people that have a knife get fixated on having the knife. So with that being said, I'm here and I'm controlling it to the best of my ability. Now, let's say if you don't like starting with that, that's fine. Tyson's kind of hiding his knife behind his leg. So now I don't know it's there, but my spidey sensor's going off. I'm talking to him and like, hey, what's in your hand? What's in your hand? I see a knife. And right away, just talking about it and raising my voice can bring attention from other people and hopefully deter him from coming forward. But if he doesn't and he stabs, right away I'm moving in, okay? And we're just dealing with that shank. He's just coming in. So what I'm trying to do is when I'm making impact with the hand is I'm trying to find the L of my hand controlling it. I don't want to use my thumb. There's a chance of breaking my thumb right away and the knife entering my body. So I want to try and put something behind it. The thing is though, is you might get excited and that may pop it away like it popped into his leg. That's why the other elbow is so important to come in so it pins. What this will do is it will force the attacker to have to hinge back further. Now I've taken him out of his structural integrity. So when I get into this point, I'm nice and solid. I have this, now I have control. He's gonna to continue to try to stab. I'm gonna to continue to try to push forward as much as I can. When he pushes forward on me and I push back on him, he's gonna to tend to push back even harder. Go with it and allow it to pass your body. I can control into the elbow now and notice I'm gonna keep control of the hand down as much as I can. Okay, and training it slow, it works great. Training it fast, you might lose some of that. This is my sensitivity training with my knife. So what I'm trying to do is come up and squeeze this tight. I don't want my arm to be here and here and lock into this position. The reason why, if he pulls the knife out right now, he can be cutting into the brachial artery. So when I'm here, if I squeeze this up tight here and push this, pull, it's locked in strong. When I do this with Tyson, I weigh him by about 80 pounds. I swing him around the room, but he still doesn't get caught because he's squeezing in tight here. He's wrapping that up and pulling it in tight. So we wanna keep this nice and safe. Now, some styles of martial arts will teach the takedown here, okay? I personally don't want to. And the reason why is unless I got good ground fighting, which I do, right? I don't wanna be involved on the ground with a knife. I'm not a police officer, so I don't need to detain this subject. 
I need to get away. End of the day, I'm a civilian. So when I'm here and this is coming in, now I'm showing control. He's gonna try and pull it out. He's gonna try and push forward, right? And once he notices it's stuck, now that left hand becomes a little bit more dangerous. So we have to worry about that a little bit. But I also don't wanna stay for here forever, especially if they're bigger. So as much as I locked into a position and got to a safe point, now I'm gonna try and do the exact opposite, leaving, or sorry, the same thing, just in reverse order. My hand comes up, I control. Tyson is the mountain, even though I outweigh him. I'm not gonna move the mountain, I'm gonna move away from the mountain. As I do that, now it's a chance for me to run away. I don't need to engage into this fight at all. Remember, if you train the way that I do, I'm standing there, I get shanked, boom, this comes in, I'm controlling right away, I'm here, I'm recognizing a knife, and now I'm away. Now I know a knife is there, I can engage mine if I so choose, but if I'm here, now I have distance, and now I know a knife is there, he comes at me, now he can start thinking about other things. Right on that one, I just cleared it a little bit and hit. I got nicked, I'm not gonna lie, right? You're gonna get cut. That's the way it is. Taking the least amount of damage is what our goal is. So this is more dealing with kind of that prison shaking, if I may. When I'm here and I go to stab somebody, okay, I'm gonna push them all the way to the wall because that's my goal. My goal is aggression and moving forward, okay? And this is just a way that you can train at home. Just turn up the intensity a little bit. When you're training, give them completion all the time. Okay, so I'm here, I'm stabbing, I'm in, he's rapping, that's good. Okay, we can talk about the disengagement or train it or just train it by sections like that. Then I go a little bit harder, I'm stabbing, I'm moving in, right, I'm here, but he's still trying to get that control as much as he can. Okay, it's not easy. The more that you play with it, the better that you'll get. Okay, but when it comes to knife defense, you have to keep yourself safe. Number one thing, if you're in a knife fight and you get control and you choose to go to the ground, unless you've trained it a lot, unless you have great techniques that you know you can't take big cuts, then go to the ground, it's fine. But only if you feel comfortable doing so. With minimal martial arts training, I wouldn't recommend it. Best self-defense, get away. If they stab you before you could get away, perfect. Grab it, control it, get away, turn your sprint on, try and get some help. We're trying to buy time for our safety.